Hi there. Today we're going to look at using the compensation strategy to subtract whole numbers. Uh, so similar to a previous tutorial, I'm going to use the example of having a wallet. Uh, oh, I'm getting really ambitious here with my uh, artwork. So that's your wallet, and inside your wallet you've got, I don't know, $386. $386 in your wallet and you want to buy something that is worth $69 okay something that has a price tag of let's say this is the price tag here $69 okay we're going to figure out how much you're going to have left over at the end so this is a basic subtraction problem uh, <clears throat> which is 386 take away 69 Okay, and this can be solved in your head. So if I just take a different color, I'm going to draw my open number line. I'll draw my open number line like this, and I'm going to locate on the number line 386 on the number line. Then I'm going to look at the number that I need to subtract, which in this case is 69. But there's a number that is close to 69 that will be easier to subtract, and that is the number 70. So I'm going to subtract 70 from 386. So I'm going to jump back like that, and I'm going to put up here minus 70. Okay. And if I take 70 away from 386, I am going to be left with 316. But the question doesn't ask me to take away 70. It asks me if I would kindly take away 69. And I haven't taken away 69. I've taken away 70. So I've taken away one more than I need to. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to jump back here and add that one too many on. So my answer will be 317. So the answer to my question, what is 386 take away 69, is 317.